Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is one more Excel video, count functions. We have three count functions, or three basic count functions. They count the number of cells that contains numbers, cells that are blank or not empty. So the first is the count itself. The second one is count A. The third one is count blank. There is another one, another two, as a matter of fact. Uh, the count if and count ifs. We are not going through these two, but we have a video about the count if, and the video is in our video description. And count ifs, we also talk about it. So go on the video description to check the count ifs and count if function, okay? So let's go to our Excel, so here, uh, a class of students, 100 students here. They are not my actual students. By the way, these are the uh, the 100 top names in the U.S. in 2021 for babies born in the U.S.A. in 2021. Google it, please. So, okay, I am grading the exam. I grade some exams. I didn't grade all of them. And I want to take a break. And okay, let's check how many exams I I already graded. How many are not graded yet? And the total. So we will be using the three count functions. The first one, the graded. I want to check this column here. How many of these columns we have? Numbers. So, how many cells contain numbers? So, we will be using the count function. Check here. Contains, count the number of cells in a range that contain numbers. So, let's go. And let's sign here. So, 100 students. 59 rated. So 59 cells contain numbers. I want to know now how many are not graded yet. So they're not graded. They are blank. So okay, let's count the blank cells. So count blank. Count, count the number of empty cells in a specified range of cells. Count blank. You double click and it will be fill it for you. So count blank. 41 uh, is still to be rated. So 41 students with empty grade. And total, I want to know how many cells are not empty. If I select grade, I will have a problem because there are eight cells here. So I need to select the students. So equal count A, contain the numbers of cells in a range that are not empty. And here it doesn't matter if they are with numbers or text. And here, Here, 100 students. To double check it, total graded plus not graded, the same 100. Now I just graded Abby. I graded Abigail. She's a very good student, so her, his grade, uh, her grade is 95. When I type the enter here, it should go up. Rated, 60, and goes down, not rated, 40. 60 and 40, total remains the same. Now, Anthony is not my student anymore. So, delete. If I delete it, it should go down, or let's take Benjamin here. He is not my student anymore. So I will delete it. Let's see what happened. Total goes to 99. 
it's not matching anymore because there is a blank cell here. So if we delete the row, then it will go to 39, 99 students, total 99. Let me control Z because that is the one that you will be opening when we start our video. See, so let me save it. Now we're good. So Abby, 95, and Benjamin is not my student anymore, 39. Okay, so this is the count formulas. Very, very useful. A little bit confusing, but if we go step by step, count, for only for numbers, count A counts everything that is not blanked. Count blank counts the blanked ones. Very useful for a list of employees, students, or stores, or any list with names and numbers that you want to work with. Okay, guys, if you have questions or comments, just leave it, he leave it here or email me at jscarpinha.gmail.com. Thank you for watching this video. Have a very nice day and God bless you.